Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video. So in this video we are going to talk about multiple different teams that we can use for the world tournament. So a lot of times uh, for world tournament obviously people wonder what kind of teams they can build, what are the various options. So we're going to do one team that's friendly for entirely free to play players. We're going to use one team that's friendly for what I term dolphins or people who've just summoned a lot I guess is the term or summoned naturally. Uh, and then we're also going to have whale team or well the most optimal team I can make and the one that I will probably be using. Uh, so the first thing is you need to look at which units have a all target super attack. You can do that by clicking skill effect and clicking all target super attack. And these are the units that are there. These are the units I have. Uh, these are basically AOE units in that they will constantly attack every single enemy you face. Uh, and that makes them really, really powerful. There's also two special units you're going to need. I don't have one of them that is Chaozu, but the other one is this Jaco. Uh, you can find them by looking up passive skill effects and looking for stun. Uh, Jaco stuns all the enemies once upon entering into combat. So having him in the team will save you some items later on in the world tournament as it will stun the opposition teams, allowing your AoE units to kill them immediately. So. In terms of free to play options for AoE units, we only really have three. We have Raditz, we have Freezer, and we have Krillin. Now you can run a team that focuses on Krillin, the most likely being Earthlings or Turtle School. Of course, the only issue is in terms of how World Tournament works is you only have one leader skill active at a time. And the friend lead you take needs to be able to be active under that skill. So unless you are determined to take a friend lead Krillin, who's not the most optimal friend lead, the most optimal friend lead is Strength Broly, you're going to want to have an extreme class or some kind of movie bosses or pure Saiyans lead. Because that's going to allow you to take Broly as your friend lead. And Broly is going to do a lot of hard lifting. If you don't have that as your lead, you're not going to have any lead for Broly because you only have a single lead for the category. But if we get back into the team building, uh, obviously we are now focusing on our extreme units. Our best bet in terms of lead is probably going to be the Strength Freezer. Uh, we're going to play Strength Freezer. We're obviously going to have our second form Freezer and we're going to have our Raditz. We then also have two great supports in the form of Space Traveling Warriors and the form of Terrifying Conquerors from Kula and Deborah and Zarbon. That's going to allow us to get our key so that we can fire off attacks. Now if you've easy aid Raditz, you will have the ability for him to attack because he's going to gain key. But overall we do need those units because they're going to help us have enough key and increase our attack stat. Because we're operating under one lead, we need to increase our attack stats as much as possible when using free to play units. Of course, also, uh, if we just look at it you know, in terms of everything, uh, you can take something like Jace who will allow you to see super attacks that'll kind of help you because it'll prevent you from taking super attacks from the opposing team. But if you do have Yako or you have Chaozu, I do you know, suggest that you take them instead. So that is the optimal free to play team. Uh, now we're gonna look at a non free to play team or a team that uses summonable units essentially. Uh, so in terms of AOE units, you'll notice that they're very skewed towards extreme units over super units. In terms of super units at AOE, I have two Strength Piccolo and Physical uh, Krillin. There's also a Trunks, a Xenoverse Trunks that AOEs, but he's not uh, very good at all, even once awakened. So those are really your super options. Now, if you're stuck with that, again, let's say you only really have Krillin, your next best bet is to pick up something like the Easy Aid Goku, uh, or someone along those lines that will enable you to have kind of a generic super team that will allow you to take Krillin, that will allow you to take Piccolo if you have him, uh, and that way you at least will be able to have some kind of like functional AoE tag team. And then you can supplement them how you wish. You can take units that provide key, like the free to play Great Sandman 1 and 2. You can take units that dodge attacks. You can take anything really that you want. 
but ideally again you're going to want units that augment the attack of your units and preferably just with attack buffs krillin requires his 12 key to fire off a super attack so taking something like Bulla, who's more just a straight attack buff is preferable uh, and she has some evasion so she might dodge of course we also always fill out that final slot with jaco or you know chaotzu if you have them in your team because that's going to be necessary to help alleviate some of the damage now let's move on from that so we're kind of going to intermediate dolphin level i would say uh, where we require a bit more summonable units and we're kind of building something that's a bit more viable this was a team i commonly used and i still sometimes use when i just want to change things up uh, you use vegeta who's a pure saiyans and super class lead uh, and you load up on AoE Pure Saiyans units and you can substitute in Krillin if you really want to. It's a good team build because it allows you to have multiple AoE units. Uh, you can see here we have the full power movie bosses uh, Broly, we have the original strength Easy 8 Broly, we have the strength LR Broly, we have the tech Margin Vegeta who's very good after his Easy 8 and we're able to use Turles as a floating support and he provides key and attack buffs to all units which is very good now you can obviously replace the strength a lot broly with the krillin because of the super class benefits so you can do that with krillin it's very very good uh, another one i suggest is possibly dropping out the strength easy a broly and putting in yako jacko jacko uh, or putting in chatsu for him he's not very good his attack stats are not super high and he's not really going to do too much having that stun is going to be a lot more beneficial for later on in terms of the events but now we obviously want to push on and move into what i'm going to be using which is generally what i consider to be the optimal team that i can use uh, and this is a movie boss's full power team so this is Super Saiyan Broly, the movie boss, or the M, the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly movie um, unit. Uh, so he leads the movie bosses in full power category. Uh, so generally it's very similar to this team we just saw before. Uh, but what you want to do is you just want to basically float out some of the other units. You want to keep Turles, you want to keep a lot strength Broly. You want to definitely uh, make sure that you put in Krillin as well. Uh, because he is viable under the full power category which is obviously very very good uh, so you're going to use him as well which is really really helpful and then you end up with what ends up being probably the best team and the reason is why uh, so krillin's operating under a much higher lead than he is under vegeta uh, and krillin is guaranteed two super attacks in world tournament if he starts first turn because if you get him as 12 key He's then guaranteed his second one because he is facing six or more enemies. So Krillin is going to be firing off multiple AoE attacks. So that's obviously super helpful from that point of view. Then we have the Strength LR Broly who's also probably going to be guaranteed his second super attack. Because remember when he supers, he's guaranteed a second super attack. So not only do we have double super attacks on both rotations... But they're both under the highest possible leader skill that we can run them you can then also fill up on multiple other aoe units units like the strength cell the only problem with strength cell is that you need to make sure that you have 11 key um so you just want to make sure that you do have um you know that key level in mind obviously with only one lead being active it is a lot easier to maintain and manage i would say uh, than if we do not so it is just one of those things but you do want to make sure that you manage it and then finally as always you want to round out that final slot with Jaco or Chaotzu so you can see there that's pretty much the team obviously you pair both Broly's up you can pair Krillin with pretty much anyone because with multiple enemies he'll be fine for key and then you can have that cell float around and just do AoE attacks if you need him to if you have both Yaka and Chaotzu, probably just drop out Cell for Chaotzu and you'll have double stuns floating, which is always super helpful. But that's it from me, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need any further help, I have two videos down in the description below about the World Tournament and how to prepare for it. But that's going to be it from me. As always, stay safe. And until the next time, take care and bye.